There are plenty of confectioners that make chocolate covered cherries, but the three most popular are Celia's, Queen Anne's, and Brock's. Celia's is the oldest brand. They began making cherries in 1864, but didn't begin on a large scale production until 1929. Queen Anne's began making their chocolate cherries in 1948. The Brock Candy Company began making chocolate covered cherries in the 1930s, and the Tiny Treat helped keep the company afloat during the Great Depression. The cherries remained popular for the next 60 years when the majority stake in the company was bought by A.G. Brock Corporation in 1994, the name of the company was changed to Brock's, and the cherries became one of the largest selling lines of chocolate cherries, and are still sold today. First thing we're going to start out with, we're going to need three tablespoons of softened butter. You don't really want it melted or anything like that, just softened. Then we're going to need three tablespoons of corn syrup. We're going to mix that together. I got about four cups of uh, powdered sugar here, which it's only going to take about two. But we're going to start putting in powdered sugar. We'll try to put about one full cup in there before we go on. Then we're going to get that mixed. And just keep mixing it until it's all incorporated. Don't add anything else to it. Don't take away anything from it. Okay, we're going to add just a little bit more. Just like that. What we're looking for is just something to kind of put you in your mind of like a biscuit batter or a uh, soft dough to make uh, pie crust. That's what we're looking for. Now, now that we got that, we're gonna set that in the refrigerator and let it chill for just a little bit. And once it's chilled and we get ready to come back, I've got uh, a few cherries to start out with and I put them on paper towel to uh, drain. All right, so now we've let this chill for a little bit, and now we can pinch it off, roll it into a ball, and then we're gonna press it out. Now, you have to work with this kind of fast because the longer it's out, the softer it gets. And I put I put put them putting them on a plate that I can set back in the refrigerator. I want a plate that will will contact cold air very quickly. All right, my first batch is done and ready to go in the refrigerator and reset while I'm melting down my chocolate. All right, here we go.
All right, there's our first batch ready to go in back in the refrigerator. So we'll be right back. All right, here we go. Now, I take some wax paper and I've cut squares. And we just take them, throw them in there, fold over one side, fold over the other side. Straighten it up. <laughs> Alright, and then what I do is I take one end, turn it this way, take the other end, and twist it the opposite way. And there we go. Got to work with these fast and get them back in the refrigerator. And you're going to have to keep them in the refrigerator until you get ready to give them to whoever you're giving them to. Sorry, I'm trying to stay in front of the camera here. You can also put them face down. That way, the, when you do your fold on your paper, it's on the bottom of your candy. Which, to me, it doesn't matter because they're going to tear it open and throw it away, throw the paper away anyway. So, it doesn't matter, right? Okay, and there we go. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'm going to get the rest of these right and get them put away, and I hope you give this a try. Now, they're better once you make them to let them set for about five days or so before you eat them or give them away, because that gives the chocolate, the confectioner sugar, and the cherry all to kind of mix together. But, I mean, you can eat them right away if you want, but to me, they're better if you wait a few days. Guys, stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Enjoy!